So in 2017, um, we did a clinical immersion uh, across India, visiting a lot of hospitals, and uh, and we found there is a unmet clinical need, which is the shortage of ventilators, and which is leading to manual ventilation. And uh, in most of the scenarios where, where we have identified patient caretakers and uh, you know being asked to manually back the patient, so this back wall and mask, which uh, is meant to be done for very specific uh, short period of time for stabilizing however it's done for a prolonged period of time which is leading to mortality and morbidity and this was our need statement and uh, uh, what how can we develop something innovative which is affordable easy to use low cost port and uh, standardized version of a device which bridges the gap between existing manual ventilation and uh, reduces all these uh, because when you operate this bag wall and mask it has to be given at specific breath rate tidal volume and expiratory ratio, expiratory ratio. so we're talking about pediatrics and adults and each uh, patient will have different uh, you know lung compliances and all these things so very uh, 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 high skilled anesthesiologist uh, high paramedic who are trained enough uh, to do this are uh, uh, required and however you see the patient caretakers in developing countries like India are, uh, 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 do this in desperate situations and it has to be done in specific way. So um, uh, we have developed a device called Respray, uh, it's a portable ventilation uh, respiratory, automated respiratory assist device which solves this problem and it reaches the gap between uh, uh, the, the manual ventilation and uh, existing high end uh, on the other end of the spectrum we are talking about big ventilators which are like uh, super expensive for normal uh, poor uh, low income family or in a gen general population to offer the ICU cost and that's where our device comes in which can uh, cater to these unmet clinical needs can stabilize the patient in the emergencies in the uh, 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 in the ambulances, uh, you know, between transit or when there is outpatients or when there is a shortage of uh, ventilators during the situations like pandemics, like COVID-19, coronavirus. Uh, so we are in the process of tying up with uh, uh, various distributors and various uh, partners across India and uh, globally so we can mass manufacture this portable uh, device so uh, it can save millions of lives. So uh, uh, right now we are looking for partners who are interested to take our devices uh, for mass manufacturing. So we could, uh, for example, if uh, uh, if a company in uh, Italy or if a company in Germany is uh, interested to tie up with us for uh, licensing it out and for you know developing tons of these devices for the stabilization of patients at a lower cost at a at a uh, standardized way at a uh, way that it can stabilize the patient and, uh, because all these things are we have uh, it can deliver automated uh, breath rate tidal volume and expiratory expiratory ratio between any, any uh, if, you, if you're talking about breath rate we could solve standard where a to 16 breath rate can be given up to 22 breath rate can be given and uh, uh, tidal volume up to 500 can be given 500 to 700 can be given from 100 and uh, inspiratory expiratory ratio 1 is to 2 1 is to 3 2 is to 1 uh, uh, 2 is to, uh, uh, yeah and so on so the thing is um, uh, we we have very simple features but the simple features is very easy to use so it uh, because when you uh, when you make a, when you have a, a, a big uh, crisis and uh, and there are a huge chunk of people uh, and there is just one bus coming to take and uh, you don't how are you going to uh, how is one bus going to take all the people right so we need uh, even if you make a lot of these uh, flights and you don't have no half you don't know how the pilots are going to take the flight so that's no point so that's why this simple devices are essential to uh, use these uh, situations I, I would say preparedness uh, you know preparedness is the most important thing and we should uh, have a uh, uh, I had a, a it's a it's a very relevant question in 2017 when I was in MIT Boston I was doing a study on disease, uh, you know, the, the uh, disease state modeling and how would this modeling happen. So I was very interested how we could do a prediction before even some Ebola, Ebola, you know, uh, epidemic occur, before even some SARS or before even some coronavirus occurs. So the, uh, we need innovations that um, 
takes uh, keeps track of all these data and uses this to predict certain outbreaks earlier so we can st stop them before even happening so we need that kind of a cutting edge technology to keep track of all the data and we need to make sure that uh, all the safety and uh, people are more educated uh, we have more preparedness and uh, you know uh, uh, preparedness and prevention is both essential for disaster management that's where our devices can be used in these uh, disaster management Stay safe. Uh, it's very important that uh, you know uh, to take care of our health. And uh, I, I mean, I, I haven't slept in days, uh, so uh, very important to take food at the right time. And be, uh, so uh, be uh, don't panic or uh, but just just try to uh, see how uh, we can. I think there is hope for this. To you know, we could come down the the epidemic will come down and. That we, that we're trying to get this contained and we're, we're working we're working towards that so for the general public i would say uh, please make sure that uh, your immune system you take all the nutrition you take all the uh, precautions keep it hygiene don't go outside unless it's super essential 